Just made a uh, custom little helmet mount here for the contour. Um, you're on the top of my head. Do you feel like Leonardo DiCaprio? I wouldn't go that far either. My head's not that great. But check out this cool little vortex right here. Contour Connect at. Little viewfinder. That'll probably break the internet. <laughs> Alright, what's up YouTube? Hey, uh, what do you guys think about that little intro video there? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Actually, it was pretty crappy. But that is what I have available. That's what I'm going to be using for the Hatfield McCoy workup videos. Hatfield McCoy mid-April, Buffalo Mountain Trail System. Buffalo Mountain Trail System is the place to go on the East Coast if you're in the dirt bikes. They have the most single track and the most challenging double wide trails. If you're a quad tard, there are other trail systems in the Hatfield McCoy System you might like more. However, Buffalo Mountain is the place to go on two wheels. Now, um, taking this fleet right here, this little half the fleet, the yellow uh, DR that's been sold, my blue DR, and the YZ. The black and white, you know, it's a honey badger. It really doesn't give a shit. That needs a lot of maintenance. We're going to make some videos about that as well. What I want to get into today is day pack. No other luggage on the bike. This is just what I'm carrying for day trips. Now, what we're working with right here, this is a Camelback Rogue. It's pretty cool. Black, nylon, whatever. Um, weather resistant, not weatherproof does have reflective glint tape, reflective lettering, three pouches, top, bottom, and elastic pouch in case you want to jam some food or something in there. 70 bucks from REI, carries everything I need. So, first thing that you should notice when you look at this thing, besides my pasty white forearms, is this red first aid kit. Doesn't match any of my gear, doesn't match this bag. The reason it is so conspicuous is because, worst case scenario, you will not be using your first aid kit. Somebody else may come along, one of your buddies may come along, you may be unconscious or other, and then they're not going to know where your first aid kit. If it's real obvious like that, more likely they're going to be able to help you out. Not going to open that. Reason being is as soon as I touch that zipper, it explodes into a conglomerate of medical supplies. Some things I keep in off the top of my head are smelling salts, butterfly starchers, liquid, uh, liquid skin. You can do a lot of cool stuff with that. Uh, iodine tablets in case you're out a little bit longer than you need to be. And then uh, gauze tape, gauze pads. So seven pretty important things that I like to keep in there, among other stuff. Uh, also burn cream, because pads don't cover everything, and sometimes this stuff gets uncomfortable rubbing on you all day. All right, now we're really going to get into it. Bottom pouch. Open this guy up. Zippers are rubber lined. I mean, they'll help you as much as they can. Getting with the first aid a little bit. Wow, I never have reception in here. Getting with the first aid a little bit. Zip ties. Uh, they work for bikes and people. Bring enough of them that you can actually... Use them to fasten a splint in an emergency. Definitely not the first choice, but we'll work in a pinch, food for thought. Underneath this, $15 gear wrench set from Home Depot. Quarter inch drive, metric, standard, Torx bits, Allen bits, flat head, Phillips head. Uh, I also threw in a quarter inch extension and an extra 8 millimeter socket. They always get lost or you always see the new two of them. Two is one and one is none. That is going trend here with this kit. We'll get into these here in a second. Since I'm on uh, sockets, I'm going to get into this. This is an 18mm plug socket. Works for all these bikes, actually. So I'm pretty lucky. If you do have a Husqvarna or something crazy like that, and you require some kind of really girly special spark plug socket, maybe keep it in the tail bag on the bike, because the one time you are going to need it is the one time you won't have this bag. Also, since we're on drivers, Tusk T handle set. Did come with uh, a couple of sockets with it. Have since lost it, reaches further than the extension, can also use it for the spark plug socket. We'll get this out of the way since it's right here. Low pressure tire gauge, very important for dual sport. A lot of tire gauges for cars don't even start until 20 PSI. Off-road, we're usually at about 10, 14, you know, 20, 25 max. Adjustables. Right here we got a small set of pliers, good for reaching small things. Medium sized set of channel locks. They get pretty big. They're good for reaching medium sized things. Six inch pipe wrench. Why do you need a six inch pipe wrench? Besides being a hammer, something you can stick in your pocket. A weapon. 
Anybody play Half-Life? Okay, so down here, your axle nuts. They're usually 20 plus millimeter. That six inch pipe wrench will loosen up one of these. This channel locks will usually latch on the other end. Now, reason you might need to do that is in case your chain breaks, you need to slide your axle up. Your tube pops, you need to take your tire off. If something happens with your brakes, you need to wedge something in where a pad used to be. Now, good trail bikes have a kickstand like this. You can just rotate it back with a buddy and get either tire off. You can rotate it front or back. Now, you can also do that by yourself with a strategically placed pile of rocks underneath the skid plate. All right, now, top pouch. This is where we keep things that we want more waterproof than not. Usually, you keep your Super Bowl champions Baltimore Ravens lighter up there. Those tend to work the best. And this little bundle. Electric tape, mechanics wire, toe strap. Now, all three of these are very important. Usually not behoo of you. Behoo of you. Behoo of you is usually not who of you. Something. Anyway, you don't need a huge roll of duct tape. Uh, you know, electrical tape will work fine for most things, even though that you probably could put one of these bikes entirely back together using duct tape. Mechanics wire works great for circle clips, securing circle clips in case you lose a fastener or something. Speaking of fasteners, bolts, you can pass it through a hole, use your channel locks or pliers, tighten it up pretty good. Toe strap. Toe strap, I'm just going to go over how I use mine real quick. There are a whole bunch of ways to do it. Safest, most efficient way that I've seen to do it. Hook the toe end, the hook, up on the toe bike, run it back here, run it back to your bike, wrap the loose end around your foot peg. Now, when you do that, you're not doing it off the bars like some people like to do and going where your buddy's going because he might not be that great of a ride. You lift your foot up and um, you're free to go. Hopefully he notices that he's no longer towing you, comes back, picks you up. This thing right here, it's a holder for these 16 gram CO2 cartridges. Each CO2 cartridge is about 50 PSI, so that's 25 PSI per tire. That means you can get home if you're dual sporting. If you have four wheels, I don't care. You do need to pay a little bit more for these canisters than you would the one-time payment of an air pump, but it is smaller. You know, it takes up less space. It's a lot easier to use. Uh, what I like about this one is it has a safety. So once I tap a canister, it's not necessarily trash. There's no chance of it going off in my bag. This one still has some air in it. Now, with the three of these, I'm set up for a very bad day. Also, spark plugs. Now, I know the numbers don't make sense, but the two-stroke gets two spark plugs. The four-stroke gets one spark plug. You'd think they would have maybe made that a little bit easier for dirt biking people, but whatever. Two-stroke, two plugs, four-stroke, one plug. YZ goes through them like crazy. Um, AA batteries. You can use them for powering your whatevers. I use mine for powering GPS or uh, flashlight, you know, what have you. They don't grow in nature, bring them. Last but not least, Master Links. All these bikes here, they use 520 chain. I have two of them. Why do I have two of them? Well, in case I lose one, then I lose another one. Or in case I lose one, my buddy loses one. Or in case my chain gets really screwed up and I need to replace two links. There you have it, folks. Um, all that stuff fits in that bag. Look, I know a lot of guys don't want to go out and spend uh, all this money on uh, stuff for hypothetical situations. But uh, it's better to have it than not have it. I mean, you definitely don't want to be the trail mooch. I mean, individually, they're not a lot of money each. But when you lump it all together, you're like, oh, man, I don't know. I could spend that on uh, something else, you know, like a sweet new pipe or like those uh, really cool, uh, what what do people wear these days? Uh, uh, what is it? The, the surfing company, whatever, the jeans, something. Anyway, you know, you, you'd rather have this stuff. This is practical, and if you need it, you, you have it. If somebody else needs it, you're a god. All right? So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. While I was talking at you, maybe bounce some ideas back off of me. Now, if you're here, you're probably here because of Everod. Now, hey, I'm trying to step up my game with these videos and stuff, but he's just over there romping on me. But anyway, similarly budgeted dual sport off-road guy. Real good guy. He's got some pretty good how-tos as well. And goes on some pretty cool adventures. Don't ask me what I'm doing to this bike. But I'm going uh, to put the thing down in the here. You know, that thing that everybody else... Down here, right? Down. And then uh, you go over there and you send him some love. Tell him I sent you. All right. Later.